Welcome, everyone, to the latest anime news for the week ending March 3rd, 2024. Crunchyroll announces more new updates. A Japanese animated project is on the way from Parasite director Bong joon Hu. Uh, One Piece and Digimon are getting anniversary tabletop games. And several new TV anime are on the way. We're going to talk about all of that. But first, the headlines... So, uh, there's a new anime coming, uh, adapting Duel Masters Lost. Now, I know all of you, when you think about Duel Masters, you think, well, of course there's going to be a new Duel Masters anime. It's like Bakugan and all the others. Like, there's a new one every three months, right? This one's kind of interesting. Uh, Duel Masters Lost is an alternate timeline to the current Duel Masters storyline. Uh... So the main character is uh, Win Kurifuda. Of course, his name is Win, um, who is the protagonist of the Duel Masters Win anime. He has lost everything and is drawn into a battle to regain the world he once desired. So apparently, like he's on this other timeline and he's trying to win a game, presumably using trading cards, to like change the timelines back. Which is definitely an interesting way of doing it. I don't. I don't know. Um, I'm certainly not against it. It's just uh, interesting. Can you just imagine if the universe is decided on blackjack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you went over twenty-one. Your universe. Your your strand is gone. Bye. <laughs> no. No. Anyway, Steve. So we have a, 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 this is actually kind of fun. Yeah. So here we have um, Hiro Segura's, I, I'm, you know, my Japanese is horrible. I apologize. <laughs> my wife has no emotion. Uh, the manga gets a TV anime. Nice. So this is kind of fun. Um, it's, uh, was it Kotakawa and Ryan mm -hmm. Film? Uh, they announced that they're going to do this. And the premiere is going to be in July. I'm kind of looking forward to this because I, I like premises like this. It's nothing new. No, it's not uncommon, but I just like it. Wherein a uh, dude who's a workaholic and he has no life, he's kind of just like a you know, couch potato or whatever, and he doesn't want to do his chores because who wants to do chores? Sure. If you should see my kitchen sink right now, you would understand why. Um, so he has this robot maid that uh, you know does his chores for him. He jokes around, says, "Wow, you would make a really good wifey, a little, nice little waifu, whatever." And the the robot, being a robot, uh, Mina Chan, uh, says, "Oh, well, this must be my new directive now. I must act like a wife." Uh... So high jinks ensue, and do they fall in love? Hmm. Interesting mm. question. I yes. Um, I wouldn't take bets one way or the other, right? No. Who knows? Yeah, it could go either way. Could go either way. Um. I am looking forward to seeing if there's some, uh, what's the term for um, uh, Uncanny Valley with, with her. Yes. In the sense of like her robotness. Like one of the things you see in the image kind of hard to see is that uh, she has like metal hands. So like, you know, how much they'll play around with that. We'll see. Uh, not the only uh, romantic series coming up. Uh, Honey Lemon Soda manga. Now I know from the screenshot it's not clear this is a romance. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't look at no, all like a romantic at series all. at all no couldn't possibly uh, be um tv anime adaptation basically um the girl had a let's just say less than fantastic middle school experience uh to the point where she's forgotten how to cr laugh cry or even say hello but she re-encounters a lemon colored um former uh classmate or just friend kind of thing I think yeah, yeah. and uh, maybe just maybe things will be better who knows yeah I you know did anyone have fun in middle school I'm not sure I, that anybody ever I did don't I think so didn't. I didn't yeah um a, a time a period of time in my life I, I would not uh, enjoy re exactly. returning to but this this seems a little bit hopeful though yeah so you know I mean I don't know he he doesn't seem affectionate at all in no this picture no no, but, no you know I, I yeah know. I'm just guessing yeah yeah hopefully it has more of a say I love you vibe but we'll see yeah Steve well if that wasn't enough for for a romance and then you have a second chance here uh so Konanasha is uh doing anyway I'm falling in love with you um 
this looks just like your atypical rom-com kind of thing. Yeah. Only um, it's, you know, the young lady in, in question, uh, was was her name? Mizuha, uh, I guess that's her name, how you say it. She's just turned 17 and life is horrible. This kind of sounds like uh, the, the old 80s movie, 16 Candles. Um, <laughs> her parents totally forget forget that, you know, it was her birthday. That's what happened mm-hmm. in the movie as well. And um, and the guy that she likes, Senpai, you know, he's just like, who are you? And, you know, basically, <laughs> you know, nothing's going on there. And, um, and of course, again, the childhood friend from way back when hey. uh, comes in and, you know, and asks her out. And, and she, what do I do? And but the backdrop of all this is is, is what the, is the interesting part here mm. is that it's during pandemic. So it's during. Ah. So, you know, it's it, so how do you and actually that's kind of an interesting yeah. concept. Like, how do you navigate a romance, a new romance during pandemic when nobody's supposed to touch each other from six feet away and like yeah. masks in the whole nine yards? So, yeah. So that, that might be a little bit. Interesting. That's cool. That's really interesting. Um, yeah. I'm I'm all for that. I'm, I'm glad they're playing around with that. Um, cool. Let's see here. Yeah. So oh, this uh, announced this week also was a TV anime and live action film adaptation of Baban Baban Ban Vampire, uh, which is a BL title, but in this case, BL means bloody love. Oh, it just doesn't make it better. <laughs> it does not make it any better. Basically, the uh, main character on the right there is a 450-year-old vampire who works part-time at an old public bath, because of course he does. Um, <laughs> but he desires the blood of an 18-year-old virgin, and thankfully there is a 15-year-old virgin uh, around, and so he is protecting him from um, having various encounters with other people to save him for when he's 18, which is not creepy at all. No. I, and as a matter of fact, I am so surprised that the cops have not kicked down your door <laughs> for even just mentioning this thing. Because this is like, this is actually kind of like, it just occurs to me. It's just like, this is almost like grooming. It's yeah. Kinda just, I kind of get that. Little, mm-hmm. little, yeah. And that, 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 that picture is not doing it any, any favor. I, I, I will give them credit for, for having a bit of a hammer horror vibe for the oh, vampire true, there. True. Um, yes, definitely yes, going sort of that. retro with a style. But also mm-hmm. it's just yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. And, um, and and the and his protected person in the background there just looks a little too enthusiastic yeah. about things. <laughs> What's going I'm on? Here? Made a virgin. Yay. No. No, no, <laughs> this is this is actually not good. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Steve? All right. So a gaming company, Kisco is joining forces with, uh, was that uh, Toei? Is that Toei? Yeah. Yeah, Toei. To, for the 25th anniversary of providing a, a table tabletop game for both One Piece and Digimon. Hmm. So on the one hand, if you want to play a tabletop game of a long, long-standing long franchise, there, there's One Piece. And if you like Digimon, well, there you go. Yeah. It's, it's more games for Digimon. What, um, quick question. Yes. Doesn't Digimon already have a tabletop game called Digimon, Digimon the Card Game? Yeah, I know, but okay, yo, know, just just checking. I look, I I got a, I got a niece who's really big into Pokemon, and it, all you have to say is Pokemon, and that's it. That's 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 all you got to do. It could be a retread, five retreads of the same thing, and that I want it. That's how they that's how they react. So it's Digimon. So if you're a Digimon, okay. when we were at Gen Con, did we actually see that that? That, was that the was the Digimon that they were doing the 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 world? Yeah, I think they were. Yeah, man, that was intense. Mm. I wish I had the picture of that because yeah. two dudes just going at it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, back to the news. Um, so yeah, yeah, believe it or not, we are actually yeah. doing news. Um, yes, you, they they will um, uh, debut these tabletop games for us for those who are fans of this, and um, yeah, they're gonna just keep you know. <laughs> Punching out these games for everybody. Um, oh, and the Digimon Training Card Game is actually getting a web comic out of it as well. Ooh, yeah, called Digimon Liberator. Cool. Um, wow. So it's kind of what I'm going to look like in uh, in chat. So I'm assuming the One Piece game takes about 20 years to play. 
Well, that's for, just for the first round. The first round, right? It goes, yeah. a, little, it, it goes a little bit quicker after, after the first round, from what I understand. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> Um, all right. After the head, after the data, we will be talking about an animated project from the director of Parasite, uh, AI subtitling at Crunchyroll, plus some information on the more on the Funimation Crunchyroll uh, melding situation there. And uh, yeah, but right now, let us switch over to the data. The data. 